There's one more item on our agenda, <laughs> which I don't want to forget, and almost did. Associate Dean Cassandra Simmons will introduce the student speakers. I would like to call to the stage, please, Alec Ovias, who is the MPA co-president for Sapasa, and also William Baramian. Please come forward. Both Alec and William have distinguished themselves over the past two years and have served as co-chairs of the student organization. It is SEPA's tradition that their co-chairs will address the class. All right, folks, we made it. Yeah. First and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing me to be your MIA class president over the past year. I really appreciate that honor. Let me get started. As the brochures promised, SEPA turned out to be a pretty unique place. One where students from all over the world came to study and to exchange the different perspectives in relative peace and with respect. But that's not the only reason that I thought SEPA was a great place. As far as I'm concerned, we went to the best school at Columbia University. Who cares if the other schools had fancy furniture and well-lit libraries and coffee machines? What they didn't have were SEPA students, except for the dual degrees. And the, and the students at SEPA are what made this place great. We're a unique bunch. We have parties, networking happy hours, a massive barbecue with a moon jump, fraternal get-togethers on the sixth floor, to put it lightly, and a comedy show produced wholly by students that is so popular that it sold out in 30 minutes. Speaking of parties, I want to give a quick thank you to the NYPD for remaining steadfast in their commitment to their mantra of courtesy, professionalism, and respect. Graduate student parties are a safer place because of you. In all, there isn't anybody that can say that they had this much fun getting a master's degree. Yet, 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 we found time to read 3,000 pages for Dr. Betts' class. We toiled to the end of the semester on capstone projects. We wrote hundreds of pages of supremely eloquent essays. And we spent the daylight hours on the weekends drawing so many supply and demand graphs that it would make an economist cry, and it probably did. And in the process, we became friends. We went to dinners together. It's not all fun and games. We shared our thoughts with one another. We hugged each other, and we took trips together. And in the process, we became family. Then we celebrated holidays together. We took care of each other in times of need. We laughed and we cried. And in the process, we came to love each other. And today, we're here to celebrate one more time those memories we created over the past two years. And we're here to celebrate those people sitting next to us right now who left an indelible mark on our hearts and whom we'll never forget. We had left our families wherever we came from, and we found another one at SIFA. And to those family members that we left behind, some of whom are here, some of whom are back home, and some of whom are no longer with us, I think I speak for all the graduates when I say that we are grateful to have you in our lives. Thank you. As individualistic and independent as we may be, we all made it here in some way because of the family and friends we have known throughout our lives. 
And for many of us, this accomplishment would not have been possible without the incredible support and understanding of the parents, siblings, spouses, and children who supported us in our decision to come to SIFA. And as I give thanks, as I give thanks to all of our family members here, I would like to give thanks to my family as well, to my mother, who forced a smile every time I left home because she knew I couldn't bear to see her cry, to my father, who made every sacrifice without a thought or doubt so that I may achieve whatever I aspire to, to my cousin Yerado, who always had more faith in me than I did in myself, to my brothers, Harant and Patrick, who put up with me all these years. The hardest part about me being in New York City was being away from the two of you, and I love you more than you can imagine. And thanks to all of you sitting in front of me now, my friends at SIPA, for being my family when mine was so far away. And I must recognize and I must thank my late grandfather, who was my inspiration, Alexandre Bayramian, a survivor of the Armenian Genocide, and a man with so much courage, intellect, and love for life that I can only hope to emulate that in my own lifetime. Class of 2010, you're the best there ever was and the best there ever will be. This is the John Deere hats, unlimited supplies of Red Bull, and the most beautiful girls in the lobby. Keep it classy, and thank you again. Congratulations, and Godspeed.